Hey Libra, my name is Crystal. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Um, i got a lot of Oracle decks here, like five or six of them, and then some tarot. I'm going to pull a couple cards from each, see how the story plays out together. So let's get it. Okay, you got blessed, orphan, yin. Okay. So the angels are saying that they heard your messages, they heard your prayers, they heard your affirmations with the blessed card, right? Now with the yin card, it just says, now this is a time for you to kind of just sit back and wait for things to just unfold naturally for you. They're working on it. It's like something that you've kind of like said what you had to say to the universe, my ears ringing, and now it's like they're going to answer it, but it's just on their time. You know what I mean? The orphan card tells me right now you may be sad, you may be stressed out, feeling unloved or unappreciated, maybe unseen. You know what I mean? Maybe other people are not really like um, showing you love or maybe you're just feeling sad because maybe you're missing something or someone. The Ten of Wands, I feel like something is over. High Priestess, intuitively you know it. Ten of Swords behind that, yep. Yeah death and then the world wow okay lots of endings here right lots of endings endings of stress the endings of burdens the ending of like a cycle intuitively you know that this is it needs to go but i feel like you're kind of like fighting it it's something that you don't want to end right um you have the two of cups all right i feel like maybe you're trying to think about you might be getting an offer soon it could be a love offer it could be a new job offer um libra i'm not sure but you know there is an offer coming in for you um you have grounding go deep explore your roots all right so this is kind of like you know like really finding out what you want in life and trying to just you know go for that and like real like explore your roots find more out about you know the inner you you have grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Okay, this is just saying, you know, try to appreciate everything in life, even though things may not be working out for you. It's like, you know what I mean? Things happen for reasons. So if we're not getting what we want, it's like because there's something else better coming. Okay, maybe not when we want it, but we'll be it'll be better when we get it. And then we'll realize. You have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Okay, if it isn't now, it soon will be. This is just like, you know... For you guys to have a little heads up. So if things are like not working out for you, just know you got a lot of you got infinite abundance coming. Belonging. Conclusion. I told you there's endings. You guys are I feel like you guys are trying to fight this ending though. I don't it doesn't show me that, but I feel like you kind of are. Belonging is 41. I'm gonna read that to you. Okay, you got coming into the house tonight for <clears throat> when you choose to simply have joined us in the community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place right now. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose a symbol, know that I, next goddess of night, have chosen it. you. Yeah. So if things are ending, it's because they want you to focus on yourself right now. All right, that's what they're really wanting you to do at this moment is just kind of take care of you because I feel like you had a lot of stress with the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. You had a lot of things. Maybe you did, like, too much for other people. Maybe you did all the work. We have a personal issue reaches resolution. Maybe this is you finally coming to, you know, realization that whatever this is just needs to end, okay? Um, then you have a, a time for healing. Yeah, so when this is over, you're going to be able to heal this orphaned, you know, part of you, the part that feels left out, unloved, unappreciated, like unseen, you know, unnoticed and stuff like that. And then you have a time to give rather than to take, all right? So I don't know if that's talking about you, because um, I don't think you guys are really about like taking, but it could also mean that people were taking from you and now it's, you know, not time for that anymore. Okay, and where is my other? I have Sam Sarah Oracle deck. It has like 89 cards in it, so I'll pull like three and I'm gonna read them. So you got pilgrimage. Spirit is inviting you to make a journey to sacred place of homecoming. You are being called to a higher purpose. It is time for next step on your spiritual path. Science, messages, and synchronicity will show you the way. Rites of passage will help you earn the badges of honor and humi humility involved. Hold on. Rites of passage will help you earn the badges of honor and humility involved. Get ready to abandon the familiar. Like I told you, you're definitely going to be um, 
definitely something ending, okay? So it's saying get ready to abandon the familiar, so like the things that you're used to, like your home, your relationship, your career, your family situation, whatever it is, it's like something is ending. And I feel like they just want you to be able to be comfortable within yourself and within your own skin and know that you're okay by yourself, you know what I mean? You are enough, especially with the orphan card. Blessings. Amazing news is coming for you. Your guides and spirit have been working to help make your dreams come true. Blessings are coming in unexpected ways. Be alert and open to new opportunities. All the good you have put into the world has come back to you to reward you for the effort and intent. This is a good omen. And this kind of goes with the infinite abundance card, okay? And then the last one you have is prudence. It's time to govern and discipline yourself by the voice of reason. Now is the time to be discerning and only move forward if you assess your risk to result in a favorable, fair outcome. Others will try to sway you. Use care, caution, and good judgment. Remove yourself from risky situations. Keep a cool head. Stay in control. Yep, so I'm going to pull... Where's my tarot? Okay. Outcome after this ending. What's going to come? All right, must not be up here. It must be on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Knight of Wands. <coughs> Five of Pentacles. You may be feeling this. Five of Pentacles kind of reminds me of an orphan card anyway. It just kind of makes me think that you're kind of alone, sad, not really having nobody to turn to. You know what I mean? It could also mean financial instability. Some type of issues of feeling like you never have anybody. But I feel like you already feel like that now. So even when you leave, this might still be a problem for you. So I don't know. Um, to try to, This is why it says it's a time for healing. You guys definitely need some healing. You have Knight of Wands. This is a time to go for what you want. You got Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands. I think you're charging for a new beginning. I feel like you may not want this to end, but I feel like you kind of do in another way because you just want to start something new. You're tired of having to have your guards up all the time, and you just want to be able to be happy and, you know, start something new. I don't know if this is a new job, a new love, or whatever it is, but it's new passions, new sparks of ideas, new interests, new um, inspirations and stuff like that for you guys coming after this ends. Alright, so there is a brand new start, alright? You may still be feeling sad or whatever, but I feel like you, it's, you know, something that could be worked on. You know what I mean? That's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Alright.